Merry Christmas week, everyone, and thank you for tuning in. Whether you've been naughty or nice, you are in for a surprise. Stay till the very end so you can meet my special friend. Let's get into it. Now, if you're anything like me, you tend to wait until the last minute every now and then to get things done. While Christmas is only a few days away, I have a funny feeling that someone watching this right now may still have a few last minute purchases to make. Fortunately, sites like Amazon Prime always come through in a crunch when we need a speedy delivery. Another way that Amazon has our backs is through their Amazon Smile program. Amazon Smile is an easy way for us to support our favorite 501c3 charitable organizations every time we shop at no additional cost. I have been supporting Wheeler Avenue with my Amazon purchases for a few years now and I love it. All you have to do is visit smile.amazon.com on your web browser and select Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church as your charity of choice. From that moment on, anytime you make a purchase, Amazon will donate 0.5% to WABC. Through the site, you can see how much money your purchases have generated and while it may seem like a low percentage, it really adds up. So many of us use Amazon on a weekly basis, so why not use it to benefit God's house? Happy shopping! Christmas time on the Avenue is always so amazing. The ministries on campus put in lots of work to create experiences and memories that will last a lifetime. If you attended the Bethlehem Experience last Friday, you witnessed the beautiful live nativity scene with all of the animals and phenomenal cast members who portrayed for us what happened in Bethlehem during the time of Jesus' birth. Then, the wonderful Christmas production on Sunday, the marvel, the majesty, the message of the first Christmas. The giftedness of our church family never ceases to amaze me. If you missed it, you can watch both services on demand by visiting wheelerbc.media, our mobile app, Facebook, and YouTube. Coming up next is Watch Night 2021. We haven't had a Watch Night service since 2019 in person. And while last year's virtual Watch Night was amazing, there is nothing like ringing in the new year with your church family right beside you. It's about to go down. Do not miss it. There will be two opportunities for in-person worship, noon and 10.30 p.m. I hope you're ready. There was one thing that I intentionally did not mention while sharing all of the wonderful things that have taken place during this season, and that's Christmas on the Avenue. Each year, donations are collected so that we can be a blessing to children, youth, and seniors in the Houston area. This year was no different, and today, we will speak with the director of those efforts, Mrs. Audrey Marie Cosby. Thank you for joining us on the Avenue during the most wonderful time of the year. How are you? I'm excited. Good, good. Well, we're talking about all things Christmas on the Avenue, which is right up your alley. So I would like to know, what is your favorite thing about this time of year, especially on, church, on our church campus when everybody's back? We're in, into the swing of things. Okay. Well, one of my favorite things is the obvious, the decorations. I love how the church campus is decorated throughout this season. Nice. Well, our Christmas on the Avenue program is something that you know has been a blessing to many mm -hmm. families throughout the years. So what is Christmas on the Avenue and how mm -hmm. did you get involved? Christmas on the Avenue is an extension of what Wheeler did for many years through the Angel Tree program, which is part of our jail and prison ministry. So for decades, we Set, had a program which was called the Angel Tree and our jail and prison ministry dissolved but we couldn't let the gift giving and the Christmas cheer end with the dissolve, temporary dissolve of that ministry so we decided to at what was called Christmas on the Avenue. So we had Angel Tree and because our membership is so kind and so generous 
we had to add some other programs. So it was no longer just Angel Tree, it was, became Christmas on the Avenue as we gave to other organizations. So tell us a little bit about Angel Tree and what that was for people who may not have known. Okay, Angel Tree is strictly a, a part, a portion of jail and prison ministry, which is um, a fellowship where they give the gifts to children of incarcerated parents to make sure that they felt the love and it was also used as a tool to witness about Jesus to children who had parents that were incarcerated. Nice. Well, you've already talked about how it has sort of evolved through the years, but what is the preparation process like to put on Christmas on the Avenue? Because you all have had full programs to where mm -hmm. children can now come and receive their gifts with their parents and there's all kinds of hot chocolate and just, <laughs> you, you talked to us about that. Oh my goodness, that was so much fun and that was one of my favorite parts and I'm so looking forward to when we can get back together and do that portion of Christmas on the Avenue. But throughout the years, we've had Santa Claus to come, we've had programs, we had our puppets, um, we had crafts and hot cocoa and family portraits, different scenes where people can take wonderful pictures with their family for the holidays. And um, our goal was always to share the gospel and the true Christmas story to those that came on the campus to receive gifts. While, while we know that Santa Claus is a fun part of Christmas, but that is not the essence of Christmas. Yes. Amen. Well, each year, as you already mentioned, you collect donations from the generous mm -hmm. church members, like mm -hmm. you said, and they're delivered to various organizations throughout the city. And you all just completed those deliveries last mm -hmm. week. Tell us a bit about that experience and which organizations you partnered with this year. Each year, Adrian, we have, because of, the, like you said, the generosity of Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church, we have had to add different agencies to give to. We couldn't just stop with the jail and prison ministry with the Angel Tree program. We had to include several others. So this year we've included the Child and Protective Services. We've also have Adult Protective Services that we give that we gave to. We had the Ronald McDonald House, the Covenant House, the Diaper Foundation. This year was new to us. We added Project Row House and we've also had um, the Wallop uh, senior living um, home. We had, of course, our own Match Bush transitional living facility and the Star of Hope. And, and the list goes on. It, it was close to a dozen agencies that we gave to each year. And in addition to those agencies, we were able to bless a few other families that have called the church through our Matthew 25 program that said that they were in need of some things for their children for the holiday. So it is just a wonderful, wonderful time of year to give and it's been great. And Wheeler Avenue, oh, they're so generous. It, it makes me emotional thinking about how kind the people of Wheeler Avenue are. Nice. Well, I have volunteered through the years and I have seen some of those <laughs> very generous gifts um, from the members of Wheeler Avenue Baptist mm -hmm. Church. Tell us some of the gifts that you've seen that just wowed you. Oh, my goodness. The bikes. One year we had bikes, uh, dozens and dozens of bicycles lined up in the church. It, it was a beautiful sight. The bicycles, the iPads, the Playstations, wow. whatever the children asked for so many of our members tried to give them what they wanted and beyond. It was as if they were buying for their own. It's it's beautiful sight how Wheeler gives during this time of year. Nice. What are some of the ways that you see Christmas on the Avenue expanding in the future? Oh my goodness. We're going to keep giving and giving and giving until there's no longer a need to give. Um, we don't get tired giving. Does definitely, um, and so many ministries have also decided to join together and be a blessing to so many different families. Um, it, it's no telling uh, where we would go from here. Nice. Well, thank you so much for mm -hmm. all the work that you do and your team of people working with Christmas on the Avenue mm -hmm. and for sharing that with us this evening. My pleasure. Before we go, there is someone else who's known to drop off a few gifts to children every now and then. I told you all that I had a very special friend coming to town, and he's going to speak with some of my little special friends from our children's ministry. 
Take it away, Santa. <laughs> Merry Christmas! What's up, everyone? How we living? What's going on? We are ready. I'm excited about today. Christmas is coming. I knew this day would be here. And we're going to have a good conversation. Oh, are you guys ready for Christmas? Yes! I am so excited about this beautiful day that's coming, right? I'm excited about you all. How do you guys feel? How did you guys feel? Do I look good? Yeah. <laughs> you guys look at me like I look, I know I look good, though. Yeah. I look good. Hey, can I ask you a couple questions? Yeah. You guys are ready? Okay, good. Uh, here's a question. I'm going to ask you guys individually. Okay, you know you tell me, have you been naughty or nice? And I'm going to ask you, we're going to go down the road. You tell me. I'm going to say, have you been naughty or nice? You ready? Okay, I'm going to start with you. You answer that question. Have you been naughty or nice? What do you say? Um, and you have to be truthful because it's Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, you ready? Okay, let's go. I'm ready. Nice. Nice, very good. What about you? Naughty or nice? Um, sometimes I'm naughty and sometimes I'm nice. I love your honesty. Give a round of applause for being honest. Yes! That's what it's all about, just yeah. being honest. Yes, yes. I like that. And what do you say, sir? Nice. You been nice. Are you nice 24 all the time? Yes. Oh wow, so you're perfect. There's no such thing as being perfect. Yeah. It's not? Some There's people not. have flaws. You say people have, what, what kind of flaws do you think? G give me an example of well, people with a flaw. So, if someone has some kind of call, you don't judge them because they have a call, you just, just let them fit in because they are the same person as all of us. That is a beautiful answer. So can I ask you, okay, who, uh, so you're next, right? Have you been naughty or nice? No. Nice, you are so kind. <coughs> you have a very kind spirit, right? And what about you, miss? I've been about like 99.5% oh. nice and point zero point five 0.5% naughty. So, so, so that little piece of naughty, does it get you in any trouble with your parents sometimes? No. Oh, wow. I think that's small. So it's just small. And what about you? Um, I think I'm nice. Yes. Ah, I like that. I got so you guys are such beautiful individuals, right? And I always, you know, I get, you had a question? Ask me a question. Um, do you, do you reindeer fly? Yes, yes, yes. I, oh, I like that. You know, I have, okay, anybody want to ask, this is a really tough question. I, how many rain, can you name a reindeer other than Rudolph? Because you guys know Rudolph, right? Because he had the red nose. Give me another name. Francis. Francis, give me another name. That was mine. Oh, she took no, your name. I know it. No, no, don't tell. Do you know another other than Rudolph with the red nose? Okay, 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 I like that with the nose. And what about you? Dasher. Dasher? How did you know Dasher? That is amazing. That is you know Dasher. Wow, he took that. that was a good answer. You have you have an answer? Anybody? You have an answer? Jingo. Jingo? Yeah. Okay. Jingle Bell. Oh, you think I have a today? Jingle Bell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, you know, we can always rename one. And and how many do I have? How many reindeers do I have? Total. Five. You said five? Man, how can I travel all over the world with just five? Nine. Yeah, there you go. Give me a round of applause. Nine. That's how they give me a round of nine. What about one? Oh, yeah, Blitzen. No. Yeah, right. yeah, it, is, that much. It, it is a beautiful. Hey, I know we're sitting there talking about my reindeers, you know, and does anybody know? Here's a really good question. I always, I always ask kids your age all the time. You know, why do we celebrate Christmas? What do you say? Because it was when Jesus was born. 
Very nice. I love that. And, and you can watch a very baby, little baby, and her so mom and dad baby. come to a third and give the baby, and, give, and the mom and daddy can patiently, patiently, patiently be nice to the the baby. I like that. So I like that. I want to, I mean, why, okay, I like that. Why, who, why do we celebrate Christmas? I was going to add something um, about Elsa. It's because Jesus was born. That's why during Santa. Christmas on People's George, you'll see the nativity scene where it has Mary and her husband and the baby Jesus and the three you, wise men. You are a very smart young lady, I must say. Wait, wait, what do you say? Why do we celebrate? I want everybody to answer and participate. Why do we celebrate Christmas? So, because, because, um, because God was born, born in the world, so she, so he could save us. That, that is absolutely true. Jesus came to, would you like to answer why do we celebrate Christmas? The last answer is, um, spreading joy and kindness. That is true. Isn't that amazing? Like when I travel all over the world, I've been to Europe, Asia, I've been everywhere, and I always come in with a good eye and I look at my smile. I smile because I'm happy, and I love to bring joy in people's homes. What about you? So did everybody answer that question? Why do we celebrate Christmas? Anybody want to ask something else? I thought you had a white beard. I do, you know, sometimes I'm kind of like a hip hop sense a little bit. I want to change because I like R&B. I love different kind of music, right? So I'm kind of changing a little bit, right? I have to change with that. I have an iPhone too. You and YZ? I cannot show you. I cannot show you. Yeah, that's so bright. So you have another, you want to add to that why statement? why your beard is little? I thought your beard was going to be big. I, I wanted to trim, I went to the barber, you know, and I don't know, he was a little tired and he was sleepy. He said he was watching a lot of movies and he kind of cut it a little bit too short. But it's okay, because Miss Claus said, I asked her, she said she liked it. Okay, so you, I got a commitment, right? So you guys gonna have milk and cookies, right, for me when I come on Christmas Eve. Oh, you know what, this, this is sometimes I always ask this question, and I want you to think about this question. This question is so deep to me, right? Are you gonna go? And, and don't, 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 okay, what if, what if you saw me Kissing your mommy. Oh my okay, God. I, I, I didn't want to ask that question. I really didn't want to ask it. You know, like I saw Santa Claus what, kissing mommy. You know, what would you what would you do? Would, would it be a would it be a secret, or would you tell someone? I just always want to know. Like I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. What, what, okay, ready? What what would you do? I would tell everybody at my school that and take a picture. Oh no, you would, you would post a picture of me kissing your mommy and it would go viral? I don't want anybody to know because I am married and I have, I have a wife. Oh no. And I don't want my wife to find out I was kissing your mommy, right? And what, what do you say if you saw Santa Claus kissing your mommy? I'm gonna tell all, all the Texas, I'm gonna tell you all the Texas people so you can take a picture of me. <laughs> well, you, you guys are gonna blackmail Santa. Santa made look at my my reputation is at stake. What would you What would you say if you saw Santa Claus kissing your mommy? I would just go back upstairs and my, hop in my bed and, and go and go under the covers. No, not today. Hey, yeah, okay, you're right. You say, I, don't, I don't have time for that, right? I, I like I, you. You know what? I got you're it. very good. You can run for a public office, you know. I hey, what but not, we're not getting to the good stuff, right? I want you to think about it for like 10 seconds. And, and what do you want for Christmas? I well, okay, I want you to think about it. I want to ask you, what do you want for Christmas? Okay, tell me, what would you like for Christmas? Um, and you must be honest with me, but Santa would like to know. Can you say more than one thing? Okay, I'll give you two things. Okay. Just two things, two things. And you must say it loud, too. But it does travel, and people can hear. Um, probably um, a PS5 and a, and a dog and mother and kids doggy. PS5, a dog. Man book. A dog man book. Yeah, yeah dog. Oh, mother wow. and PS5. And what would you like for Christmas? I like a Bitcoin and... You said Bitcoin? 
I said Bitcoin. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you said some Bitcoins. I was like, man, this kid right here is amazing. I thought you said he wants some Bitcoins. I was like, whoa, God, look, this kid's way ahead of the game. You know, we know how we, we really love our parents, right? Our parents are so beautiful. Hey, guys, you guys got any idea? What would you like to give your parents for Christmas? Anybody thought about that one? Tell me, what, what do you think about that one? Your parents doing that? Sit, just sit. Probably mm -hmm. for my think? mom. Mm -hmm. Probably some earrings, mm -hmm. and for my dad, probably some new tennis shoes. Oh, that is, that is a very nice. And, and we'll flip flop. What would what are you? If you could give a gift to your parents, what would you give her? Right. And it's really pricey, so it's over like $2,000. That's a lot. But it's like a mirror with a fitness instructor inside, and I want to give that to my mom. I it's know that she wants her mother to be healthy, work out. Yeah. With it. And what would you, what about your parents? Well, since my parents are in here right now, I'm going to need to whisper. Them. Okay, whisper to them. Yeah, Halloween so hard and for Houston uh -huh. closed out and they didn't want him to have, to have a permanent permanent building for them so I was thinking maybe even turn it into a store. But I would love to say he could have his own store. Okay, I will oh that that's a secret I can't tell you. And what would you like to get your parents for Christmas? Uh I like my parents like like um uh, my, my parents like like I can chocolate and cream. Oh that's nice. What would you like? What What are you gonna get your parents? For, if you get your parents, go tell me. A new game. We don't want you guys to know. Mm. Need some perfume. Oh wow! <laughs> I like that. What about you, sir? Um, I I want to give my mom all the smoothies she likes too. Oh, that's nice. Because that's nice. she loves smoothies. Oh, that that is so beautiful. I I wanted to give you guys a gift, right? I I wanted to. I wanted to bring you a gift. Do not open it. I'm gonna give you guys a gift. I won't hold you long. Just hold it. A small little gift, a little token. Is it okay if we shake it? No, 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 no. Do not do that. It's a small gift. Thank you. You, you're welcome. I want to give you a cute little gift. Something from Santa. What's that big moment? What's that big kind of? Look into your heart. Oh. All right. Okay. This, this is for you. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that gift. This is a little small token. I want you to hold that. Do not. We, we're gonna open on. I got the smallest one. I okay. Yeah, I got the biggest one. How did that happen? I don't know. Okay. Oh wait. No. Hold. Hold on. I got the smallest. This, this, this is from Santa. So, so right on three, we're gonna open up our gifts. Everybody, open up their gifts. Open, open. Everybody, open the gifts up. Open okay. them up now. This is a gift for me to you. Tell me what you oh. think about your There's gifts. There's nothing in this. It's uh -huh. gold. <laughs> What's this? Yes. Oh. What, what, what is that? I don't think you have your There's nothing in mine. There was nothing in there? Are you kidding me? Oh. What is that? And what, what did you get? <laughs> what, what, what do you guys think about my gifts? <laughs> yeah, raise, raise them up high and show everybody. Right, 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 raise your gifts high. Do you guys like them? Yeah. 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 Well, what is wrong? It is a gift. This is my love to you. It's a thought that counts. I'm okay with it because it's a thought that counts. Me thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't like it. Baker, that, that, that was a gift. You don't like your gift? Let you me see your gift. Stand up. Okay, slap it together. <laughs> okay, okay, not too hard. Isn't that beautiful? And, and what, what, what did you get? I got gold. Okay, okay. I was, just, I was just having some fun with you guys. Yay! Those are the real I, I did I did want to bring you all some real gifts. Uh, that was just a fun joke, you know. I, I wanted to give a little cute for you. Oh. I'm just giving you, I got some gifts to you. This is about the look a little bear. I, I just got you guys some I mean, gifts. I my bears inside of the other one. 
I, I guess who, who like candy? I got some other gifts I brought to you guys. This is for the for the lady right here. I got some more gifts. It's a little cup. Isn't that cute? Can, can I give you a little beer? I got a little beer for all of you guys in here. Hold that. That's for you. Did everybody get a beer? Yeah. Okay, hold up. Did, did everybody get a beer? Yeah. And then I got a toy for you. I bought some more gifts. This is who, who likes a little, little for you. I've got some more gifts for you. Oh, wait, that, that's for you. A Spider Man, okay. Let me get with you. I want the wrapping. Which, which one do you like? He has the one. Right here? This, okay, sure, one. sure. Don't forget about the No, I did the wrapping. What, what, what? Very good. Did everybody get like three gifts? How many gifts no. did you get? I got, I got, one. One. I got a hot wheel for you. I'm, I'm, I am so excited you guys came out. How many gifts did you get? Did I give you a gift? And I got I got some other little gifts I wanted to give this one to say hello. Have a lunchbox. Have a lunchbox. This is Here's for you. Four. Cool, Sun Squad. Somebody has four. I, I got for the guys right here. So I, I just want. It's okay. I just got some nice gifts oh I want to share. Just just to try this. Oh, this is very exciting. Yes, yes. Well, who, who did I miss? Did I miss you? This is cute. Oh, bye. You got so yes. I, I do want to make sure everybody got a, a nice gift to say hello that we. That we're so excited thank about. Thank you, Santa. You guys had a good thank, time. Thank you, Santa. What, what are you guys gonna What are you guys gonna do for the rest of the evening? You guys going out to eat? You know what are you guys gonna do? Um, I'm gonna eat. stay here for the movie event and get some pizza mm -hmm. at the movie event. So. Can we put in our lunch kit? Yes, yes. Can we have yeah, yes. extra toys? One extra toy. How, how many toys? Did everybody, did everybody get at least three toys? Three. Tell me. I, I want to. I've got to go. Okay, so I wanted I to make sure. Okay. Everybody, I gotta get my back. I gotta get back because I have to. I have another stop. Who got chocolate? Everybody got, what did you get? How many gifts? I didn't get no chocolate. You got two gifts. Can I have I want to make sure I cover. Get everybody hot chocolate. It's really good. It's a little hot chocolate for you. I have three. Everybody's good. Everybody got three gifts? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, I've got to get everything together. I have the, I've got another appointment. What about, did I get you cute? Everybody's good. You guys have been so much fun. You too, Santa. I can't wait to see you all very soon. Remember, you know. You guys are very, you guys are so nice. You guys are very kind and waiting. You guys have been waiting Who's a long time? Um, um, Mr. Santa. Yes, Santa. yes. Um, I, I, was, I, I was behaving for, for days in a row. Very good. I got four. I, I'm going to go let you guys go ahead and get, you guys have movie night tonight here? Yeah. yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I've got to go, okay? So you guys remember, I'll see you Thank soon. You for the gift that was Thank you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask them to clean up. I'm gonna go ahead and go. I've got to go. I'll see you guys later, right? Hey, bye bye. Merry know. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Stay right here. Wait for me. Merry Christmas. Everybody's good. Everybody's got lots. Everybody got three gifts. Yeah. Yeah. You got the chocolate. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'll see you. And thank you, parents, for coming. Thank you. I have to go. I gotta go. I see you guys later. Okay. Okay. Hilarious. Kids really do say the darndest things. What a great way to go into Christmas. Thanks again to all of the organizations who partner with us for Christmas on the Avenue. And once again, don't forget to use smile.amazon.com when doing your last minute Christmas shopping and even beyond the holidays. Have a very Merry Christmas. I'll see you all next year on the Avenue.